On today's episode, why fish fillets show how robotics is the future of work. Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com TV today. Progress in industrial automation has been following a fairly consistent path for the last century or so. Automation, and today that increasingly means robots, started with the low-hanging fruit in every factory. The handling of objects that are large, heavy, and hazardous, often replacing multiple workers with a single machine. At the other end of the scale, very precise pick-and-place machines have largely replaced humans in applications requiring very fine motor skills, such as circuit board assembly. In these traditional applications, the key is task repeatability. Robots perform the same functions on the same components and assemblies faster with greater precision. But what about production line processes where the individual units are highly non-uniform? Now, food processing is a classic example of this phenomenon, and as a result, human labor is still widespread in food processing plants. Flexive Robotics has demonstrated a SCARA-type robot deployed in an interesting application, the processing of fish fillets. At first glance, the application would appear to be uninteresting, but it's actually highly complex. Fish fillets must be of uniform size before packaging, a task which was traditionally done with a manual sort and trim station. The Flexus system uses AI-enabled computer vision, which examines the fillets as they pass on the conveyor, then commands the end-of-arm tooling to compress the fillets into the proper shape without lifting them from the belt, using a force control system. The system also recognizes any product clinging to the tooling and removes it automatically. According to the company, the system can be integrated into an existing production line in half a working day and requires no specialized training or expertise to operate. The significance of systems like this goes far beyond specific applications like this food industry solution. Traditional assembly robots used in manufacturing operate without true situational awareness or context. Running in a fastener or tapping holes may use force sensing technology to do the job correctly, but generally require fixturing to locate the assembly in space. This application is exactly the opposite, where the product is randomly distributed on a moving conveyor belt and is of random shape. For manufacturing operations, the implication is clear. Fixtureless assembly not only reducing the fixed costs of line assembly, but suggesting high mix, low volume production on a single high speed line. The workerless factory is coming, but to achieve it, the robots will need more than just sensing. They'll need both situational awareness and context within their field of view. And the technology is working its way into industries that have resisted automation to date. Well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by Engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit Engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, Designing the Future, and the Engineering Roundtable, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.